How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you've got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nikel. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on the sky for the aerial acrobatics of Captain Glenn Quagmire. Whoa, gonna need some help here. <laughs> all right. Meg, I know you hate having to be in bed all day, but your father's bringing in the old TV. Hey, Meg. Hey, Doc, what the hell? I don't want to catch the mumps, Lois. Here's your TV, Meg. It's a little old and there's no remote and it only gets one channel and it's not on that channel right now. Chris, check it out. Jackass number two. This whole day has been one big laugh riot. Peter, what the hell is all this? Well, I'm a bachelor, so I invited a bunch of people over, and now I'm waiting for them to leave. That's what bachelors do. Peter, I'm interested in the redhead with the wooden arms and legs over there. You think you could introduce me? That's a table, Seamus. Don't point at her. Don't point. She's looking. Oh, great. Now I gotta go in. Hey, I'm Seamus. Guys, winning those seats is our highest priority. Even higher than my dream of winning socks on karate. Point! Winner! Ow! Look, relax. We'll just tell him the truth. We're cruising around town looking for a sexually active 14-year-old boy. You have any idea how fast you were going? I was going the speed limit, officer. He was. Are you here against your will, sir? If you're asking if I'd rather be at the zoo, then yes. Maybe you step out of the car and we see if you've been drinking. <laughs> I'm too fat to be in the car by myself. We now return to Home Alone with Competent Robbers. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding on to it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Well, now there are no witnesses. Mm, have a good day, sweetie. <sighs> hey, Greg. Afternoon, Mr. Griffin. Mrs. Griffin out today? Shopping. Ah. Ah, she's hot. <sighs> All right, I guess I could text Lois. But just this once.
Okay, we're good. Peter, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. So, what seems to be the trouble? Dr. Hartman, something's wrong with me. Everyone's treating me like I'm abroad. I don't know what's going on. I recognize that hysterical tone of voice. Sounds like someone's having their monthly. All right, sweetie, let me just spit on my hand and we'll get started. Yeah, get away from me, you creep! <gasps> my God! There was nothing wrong with my mirror. Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh, no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time! From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys! Hmm. Yeah. Well, Chris, there may be more lap-sitting than there's been, and I might answer most of your questions with a story, but mostly my mustache tells people that there is a 90% chance that I am poorly educated, that I keep upscale porn magazines out in the open, and that I listen to the Little River Band with giant headphones. Ugh, that's the ugliest thing the fat man's grown since that horse leg. Hey, Peter, have you seen my... Ah! Oh, Brian, I'm sorry, but what do I keep saying? Do not stand behind me, because I will get scared. Hey, so we've been stuck out here for over 20 years. Can you catch us up on all the important things that we've missed? So no way! Kylie Jenner and Tyga are no longer together? Splitsville, my friend. How did Robert Kardashian die? Guilt cancer. From what? Oh, boy. So people thought the dancing Judge Edos were funny? For a while, yes. Is Leno still doing it? No, he's not hosting anymore. Oh, so Conan got the Tonight Show? <sighs> oh, come on. And, and so what about Craig Kilborn? Is he still on? I'm actually right here. Oh, right. Hey, Craig. Yo, you imbeciles! You ruined my night! I asked for one thing in this house! Stewie, just watch your show upstairs. I didn't want to watch it upstairs on the small TV. I want to watch it downstairs on the big TV. I want to watch my show! Oh, no, Stewie's having a tantrum. I'm here, sweetie. Ow! Oh, screw you, you little turd! What's all that noise? Oh, do you want a hug from your big sister? Hi there. Hello. Do you have a minute to save a child's life? Yeah, I guess. You've got a minute. Tick tock. What are you doing? 30 seconds now. I'm listening. What am I even convincing you of? Tell me why Smokey the Bear wears jeans but no shirt. Why would they do that? Is that what this is all about? That's what this is all about. Guys, I'm tired of God messing with football. We gotta do something about it. Like what? We gotta find God and tell him to cut the crap. How many times is God gonna ruin our Sunday with both church and bad football? It's time someone told God to stay where he belongs, in our schools, and, and telling people where they can stick their wieners. Now, what do you say? Let's go find God. All right, I'm in. Me too. Let's do this! Whoa, whoa, Joe, Joe, what the hell? What? I thought, uh, find God was a code word. No, we meant literally go and find him. Oh. Well, I already texted Bonnie. Do nada, só